<laughs> hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Welcome to episode 121 of Paint Pouring uh, with yours truly. Um, I don't know why I'm all smiley. I've already had a fail and I'm about to try something totally different. Um, but before I get started, let's talk about the results of the last one because I'm feeling a little cursed with my substrates. You know, that beautiful tree, um, cloudy effect pour, that tree ring, that the wood worked. And now, this is the 16 inch round from the last one. Look at that, look at that. It totally warped. Um, paint came off the one side there, not enough to ruin it. It's still really pretty. The middle was saved. This was a staple back round I got at Hobby Lobby. Do not recommend. Like, just crap, crap. I actually think that's where I got the uh, cradle board from too as well. That worked. And I've had other um, gesso boards from there that have worked. So I'm um, uh, boo on the Hobby Lobby Master's Touch products. I really still like their paint, but their canvases and, and uh, boards leave a lot to be desired. So that one's worked, the 16 inch. It's still drying nice. Um, it's not really, the painting itself is still quite gorgeous. So I think it'll be okay, but um, I'll just have to wait till it cures and put some heavy, I'll wet the back and then put some heavy books on it and try to straighten it out. The 16 inch came out great though. That one's nice and level. Um, so this is the back. I don't know what the, this is, if it's just like some pressed cardboard, which is what I think it is, um, stapled uh, around, but this one is still, it's gorgeous. It's super, super pretty. Uh, so that one's still good, as well as the nine inch round is also um, turned out great and really, really pretty. I should make a clock out of that. Should I make a clock? Let me know. Um, some gold hands to match the gold would be really pretty, right? Uh, so today I'm using, I have a 20 inch round down um, that I'll talk about in a minute that's from Plaza Art. And the difference is the back. So the back of it, because here's, here's another, I have a 20 inch and a 16 inch. I don't know if I'll have time to do both today because, uh, you know, I live at the ice skating rink and we'll have to go there with my daughter in about an hour or so. But the back of this one is particle board. And I gotta tell you, it is so stiff that when I tried to hammer in my giant push pins, I couldn't get them to go. I broke two push pins with a hammer trying to get it into the particle board. It wouldn't go. So that tells me that this is really stiff and sturdy and shouldn't warp. So that's what I'm using today. I have a 20 inch down. I did a pour. And it was, you know, spring, so I did boring pink and purple with a little bit of gold and copper, and I hated it, so I scraped it. And when I scraped it, I don't know about you guys, but if you scrape all the paint, I thought, well, I should save the paint and use it as a base layer, you know, to help the paint move. And when I did, it made this really pretty marbled effect. And so I left it like that, and I thought, I'm gonna leave the background, so this is an experiment, I'm gonna leave the background looking marbled and just do a couple stripes through it and that's it and see what we get so that's the plan for today let's see what happens so let me get this down i can make that fake noise and go eh, 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 with my new contraption wait is this turned down like that how's that look a little more excuse my hand that looks pretty great. Keep it right there, tighten it up. Okay. So there's my round. It's like, you know, striations of purples and pinks, a little hint of copper. I think you could tell if I torched it, it would torch up and make, you know, little freckles everywhere. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave that as is. And then mix my colors and then just, you know, do a straight pour and see what happens. So need a cup. Can't do anything without a cup. And I think if I go over here, can you see what I'm doing? If I put it right there, you can see, right? So 
not going to use white and I'm just going to start with the um, pori medium recipe one to one ratio um, paint to PM with water for consistency um, let me add my spot on treadmill silicone before I forget uh, pori medium recipe and colors will come up on the screen Three in the purple, just one in the pink. Four. All right, so I'm going to start off with the copper. Oh, that's a lot of copper. And then the purple. You know if I want pink I guess just like a little bit just like that just a little and some gold and I want the dark purple I want it to be dark I know it'll dry dark because it's transparent and without the white to lighten it up, it should stay pretty dark. Mm. So there, one more copper. All right, pink. I was on the pink love train for a while, and now all of a sudden I'm an anti-pink. I don't know why, this is my one of my favorite shades of pink, too, so I don't know what my deal was. Pink, and then the gold. And just a little bit of purple on that gold. And that'll do it. Now let me think about, I'm gonna take my little thing and make like a little spout. Uh, let me think about a pattern. Let's go down, up, and across. I guess so. All right, wish me luck. Something like that. Leave the rest of it the way it is. Add any more. Now they're going to get wider. It's a giant G. Let me go. Kind of like that. Give that a torch. not to get the torch on the background. And then let's make come over here. Wow, that's cool. Don't worry about that one little spot. Right in there. Get right there. Alright, let's get, move that around a little. What do you think? I like the background because it looked like, you know, marbled paper. Alright, so, you know, I had taken a uh, I did a failed pour and it was just another, you know, flip cup where I wrecked it and it was just boring. Like it was the color combination more than anything. It was just really boring. And so when I took my stick 
and went to scrape it. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. That's what I was worried about doing this. I guess I could let it dry next time if I wanted the marble look and let it dry because now I got little cells in the marble part. But when I did it, you know, I went to scrape it and went, no, no, save the paint. And so I tilted it and it just made such a pretty marble paper pattern. I'm like, okay, let's try to do something with that. So let's stretch this out a little bit. And you know what? If this doesn't work, then I have plenty of paint. I'll just uh, use it to tilt with and um, leave it as is. I just want to make them a little wider, you know? That can go off the sides. That's okay. But now it looks like a pretzel. Let me take those off a little. There. Let me take off the pretzel at this one end. A little bit. Stretch it out. Are you gonna go? No? Just, I'm trying to get this part to move or my wiggly my thumb. It doesn't wanna I don't wanna compromise the rest of it. Let me bring it back. Give me one sec. Let me go this way a little. Let me stare. Yeah, I don't like that either. Let me stare, let me stare, let me stare. Yeah, see this, it got cells. I mean, the only thing I can do is like really just stretch it out, but I don't know if that's going to help at all. Yeah, just making everything kind of wonky. It's a giant pretzel. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna have to mix up more paint too. I don't like the way this looks. I'm trying to will myself to like it, but I just don't. Well, this I can like go around in a circle because there's no cells or anything for coverage.
gosh, that's a prettier marble effect, right? Looks seriously pretty. Maybe I should torch that. Call it a day, because I'm not having a good day with painting. See if it does anything. Why not? Get him dusty. All right, so obviously that's just a bunch of freckles um, and muted. I'm going to turn this off for a second, mix up some more colors and just do a regular pour. But it was a fun experiment, you know, live and learn. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. I'm gonna try another pour over my mess. See what happens. Wish me luck. Let's see. Kill off the gold. Not gonna quit until I get a decent pour. I'm not gonna quit until I get a decent pour. Not gonna quit till I get a decent pour. That's what she says to herself. I don't have a rhyme for that. Nope, it's black. Let's go blue first and then black. Or turquoise and then the black and then the copper and then the purple I'm making a mess out of my hands for the purple. Let me see. Ugh. All right, let's see what happens now. Mm. 
Let's see. It's got enough of that previous pour paint to help it slide around. I don't even know why I'm bothering to put on gloves, but why not? Is that loud? Holy big googly moogly, people. All right, let's give this a torch. Maybe a little more this way. I like it. Oh, I want a torch. I got a torch because otherwise it'll just be little baby cells. Let's see if there's anything under this black. Wish me luck, y'all. Feeling unlucky today. So I'm right here. While I'm here, I might as well come off my side. In the back. Might as well go all the way. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Bring it back. The loudest garbage truck ever. Holy moly. Straight off this one sign. Looking good so far, so far so good. The real test will be the drying process and the comparison between the frames of these two, those two rounds, I'm telling you. go a little slower now keep my cells nice off there go a little more bring it back wiggle wiggle my way down 
this way. I'm going to lose, I think I'm going to lose some of that blue, but that's okay. I'd rather have that white, light blue on the edge. I think it'll keep the white, light blue on the edge. Yeah. Bring it back. One more spot. Looking good, though. Love all the different colors. Love the light and dark. Very dramatic. Really pretty. Now let's get rid of a little more paint right here. Very slowly. And go on. Bring that back because that's pretty. Kind of stretch that out. Staring. Let me stare. Let me see if I want to pour off paint anywhere else. I walk around, look at composition. The edges of this one are just freaking phenomenal. Like this whole part, all the way around. Actually, that's cool too. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I like this. Either I, I love it or I hate it. I haven't decided with this. It makes it very interesting to look at. And my edges are so, so pretty that I don't know. Maybe I'll just give that a little torch. I think that's just white under there, though. This is actually kind of cool because all the cells separated and they have the rings around them. It's like a nice little break in the pattern. I don't know. Let's see what you guys think. But it matches over here, or I could pour that off. I could pour off, what could I do? I could literally probably stretch and pour a lot of this off. This would all move down. I would probably ruin this whole section though. And that's like money. Same with this. So do I want to keep that there? I think it makes it kind of interesting. It's just very interesting. Very, very interesting. Am I done? What do you guys think? Somebody say something. I love these, this giant gray cell right here. I'm hesitating only because I'm worried about how much paint is on the canvas since I had that, you know, coating from the, the last one. But I guess it's no different than adding a layer of white down. Um, if you've been watching my videos, I don't do that all that often. I usually just, you know, pour straight on dry canvas. So um, I'm kind of nervous about it. Like, does it dry well? I don't know. I don't do it that often um, to feel comfortable. So that's why I'm just like standing here like a goober, like, what do I do? What do I do? I think I stopped though. I do, there's enough of it that I love. The parts I love outweigh the parts I'm not totally 100% happy with, you know what I mean? Um, and I think that makes it look interesting. I might just give a little torch right there and I don't mind if they're baby cells. Uh, and hopefully I poured off enough paint. It seemed like it did, right? There's enough around my canvas. So, boy, what an experiment, right? Well, you never know with your ideas until you try. So, um, I hope you guys liked the first part of the video where, you know, try to do something new. And I think I just splooged paint right there. I did. Can I get it out? Yes. Let me give it a torch right in here. Just for, just for some more baby cells. Maybe right in here too. <clears throat> Jeez. 
Ta-da! Let me step back and look at it. Yeah, I think it's really interesting looking. Let me, uh, well first let me see if I can just zoom down with my contraption. But I might think I'm going to have to come in close for the cells, like literally this whole section, you guys got to see the cells up close because uh, they're just, I think one of the best I've ever made, really. In terms of like the colors, Holy good googly moogly. Hold on. Um, so how do I lower this? I think I just unscrew that. Whoa! And it comes all the way down like that. Look at that. And can I swivel? You still really can't see up close, can you? Look at it moving around. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> That's so silly. Let me pop the camera off, but let me swerve it away from the painting. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, it's about 20 minutes later. I tried to get the phone off the contraption, fumbled it, it dropped, and then I thought I filmed and I never hit record. And then, uh, you know, I walked away and decided I wasn't happy with the composition. So I took a chance and I tilted it some more and now I'm like really, really thrilled. So let me get you down for reels this time and show you the uh, final result. So let me turn it this way. and cut. Well, let me start up high because this is now what it looks like. So I tilted it this way. I was able to save my edges and I moved that the white um, and light blue part over to the side. So now they, they match each other. Um, better so the composition is much much better and then let me get you down um, to show you the close-up and then my daughter's like we gotta go we gotta go so real quick um, don't turn it on yet honey and then just let me show you so those are there's the awesome can you see I can't see what I'm doing section there the cells over here I'm off the ting thing on our there. Oh my gosh, so, 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 so pretty. And then this section over here, just amazing. So now I'm like super, super, super happy with it. Uh, and yeah, fingers crossed for how this dries. Hopefully it doesn't warp. I think now that it's a, um, it's a better canvas, uh, it should be okay. And we can compare it um, the Plaza Art Canvas to the uh, Hobby Lobby one. So that's it for me. Whew. You guys take care. Um, I might film tonight. I don't know. I have the 16-inch uh, rounds, so and maybe I'll do a quick little video then. So, uh, oh, yeah. See my black eye? Lovely, right? Covered up with my glasses. See you guys. Bye.